This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 1860. We are in awe of you. Find out why. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 200 million times. Are you feeling stuck with your English? We'll show you how to become fearless and fluent by focusing on connection, not perfection. With your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Colorado and New York City, USA. And to get your transcripts delivered by email every week, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash subscribe. To be truly connected with someone in English, you need to be able to say what amazes you. Is it the mountains, the ocean, or just everyday people and situations? Today, learn one key English vocabulary word to communicate this and connect. Hey, Michelle. What's shaking? Anything new? <laughs> uh, another. Actually, it's very sunny. I'm looking at my window right now, and it's so nice because it's been very dark and sad oh, yeah. and it's like i'm, I'm feeling <laughs> you're feeling good bubbly because sunshine. of sunshine yeah yes i'm enjoying so, it sunshine is so good for the soul so good for the soul out here in colorado honestly there's a lot of sunshine a lot oh. and so sometimes even too much like i need sunscreen really? in my office right now because i'm getting so much sun <laughs> is, do you really feel that way is it really that sunny yeah, because, you know, you oh, can wow. get UV through a window um, and right. you know, a south facing window. Right. And then the sun, the intense sun is right on you. It's like, oh, got to protect the skin. So but yeah, I love sun. I love being in the sun. It's the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It, it really it's like crazy how much of a difference it can make in your mood. Like it is yes. crazy. You can feel it immediately. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, I'm in awe of that fact, Michelle. I'm just in look at awe. this, Lindsay. Oh man! <laughs> Every episode now, you, I'm just you did it again. These- Good for you, <laughs> Michelle. Um, so cheesy. Uh, yes, I am in awe of the sun as well. And you know, I am also in awe of our listeners. They are incredible. Um, and that when we get listener questions, we absolutely love it, especially yes. like very specific questions. And sometimes I'm just like you know, really in awe of the questions that we get, um, including yes. the one from today. So this was actually uh, one that I found on our Instagram. Guys, if you aren't following us over on Instagram, make sure that you head there. Um, but yeah, this is from B-S-H-A-Y-E-R-Q. Yes. Um, so I'm not sure if that's yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a quick it's a quick question. Lindsay, do you want to read it for us? OK, here's the question from our Instagram follower. He says, hi, I saw a sentence today and it was I'm in awe. Can you demonstrate? And as a native, do you use it a lot? Good question. Right. I like it when you guys see real English and then you come to us. Right. And you ask us these really good questions. So send us your questions to Lindsay at all ears English dot com. All right. Good stuff, Michelle. Absolutely. All right. So, yes, that is a great question. And that is an, a very frequently used expression, don't you think, Lindsay? I really do. Absolutely. And it's nice to be able to say what impresses you in the world. Right. It, it kind of communicates emotion in a way. Oh, a lot of emotion, I think, especially like to be in awe, because it's not it's not like just like saying like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it is like saying that's awesome. That's our A.W.E., but it's a little different. Well, yeah, that's right. I didn't even think about that. It's the beginning of awesome. <laughs> You're right. Um, well, yeah, but it kind of has a more magical feel to it, I think, than like awesome. You know, it has a magical feel to it. I want to write that down because that's a key today. You know, you're communicating the the fact that a sense of magic is like washing over you. Right. So we're going to get into this a little bit in a minute. But I want our listeners to go over and get their fluency score. Michelle, where can they go to get their fluency score? Go to allearsenglish.com slash fluency score. You'll take a quiz over there. Get your level so you know where you're starting and you know where you're going and you'll get resources. Right, Lindsay? Yeah, good stuff. Go over there. Find out if you are 50 percent, 65 percent or 80 percent fluent. Good stuff. So, Michelle, what exactly does it mean, again, to be in awe of something? 
Yeah, it basically means you're amazed by something. And uh, like Lindsay, you said, like this, like feeling of of magic just like washing over you. It's true. Like, like I'm picturing like a glowing, like sparkly and just like <laughs> yellow. I don't know. It's true. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just like you're so amazed by something. Um, Lindsay, is there any what are you in awe of? Oh my gosh, no question. The one thing that I am the absolute most in awe of, probably more than anything else in the world, is the ocean. I am to- I am in total oh. awe of the ocean. When I stand at the ocean, or I look at the ocean and I think about how big it is and how all-encompassing it is, I'm just blown away by the ocean, Michelle. Mm. It's incredible. Yes, the yeah. ocean is amazing. Um What are you in awe of? Um, well, I am in awe of, I mean, I know it's going to sound cheesy, but I am in awe of my son has started, you know, preschool. Um, and I am in awe of how much he learns, like that he comes home and he knows a new song. And I'm like, where did you learn that? Oh, of course it's at school. And so I am in awe of the things that he learns. But another thing, I am in awe of healthcare workers. Oh, I love that. That's so good. You know, I like that you said that because sometimes awe is used for big things, right? Like the ocean, like the the universe and the sun and the mountains, nature. But really what we should be in awe of every day and, 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 and kind of practice this is the everyday people that save lives, you know, oh, and they yeah. really have. Right, Michelle? I mean, what inspired you to think of that? Um, well, I guess, you know, uh, you know, uh, with everything we've gone through in the past couple of years, um, you know, seeing everything that these people in these industries do, um, and are totally selfless and save saving lives. And, you know, uh, a lot of people, you know, we like have careers where they don't, (laughs) don't have have to to put ourselves at risk at all kinds of things, be in risk. Right. And so I'm just in awe of the people who, who decide to go into those things and then, you know, really, really push it. And in this hard time, it's amazing. It's amazing. Imagine if we didn't have these people, right? The people, I think it's a special kind of person. And I have, you know, my sister-in-law is involved with medicine. She's a PA and her sister is a PA too. And it just, mm. it's a special way of thinking. It's like a calling for people, I think, uh, that they mm-hmm. decide they want to save lives and go into medicine because I don't think it's an average person that just wants to go in there and be around blood and germs and things, you know, it's a special kind of person. Yeah. And also like the schedule that goes along with it. You know, people work 12 yes. hour shifts and they're, sli- you know, they're oh. on call. And it's just like, you know, something that I don't think I could be up to. And I know so I'm in awe of people yeah. who are. Yeah, totally. And uh, I love that example. And in awe of your son learning. Um, and so it comes back to this word awesome. And I never, <laughs> I learned so much from you mm-hmm. on this show, Michelle. I never drew the connection. <laughs> between awe and awesome but that that is where it comes from right Mm -hmm. i mean i would assume (laughs) i i i haven't uh confirmed that but uh, it it seems it seems uh pretty obvious to me so if guys if you find out that i'm wrong on that you can let me know but it seems (laughs) like that um I mean, it's just about this feeling of like being thankful, being appreciative towards someone or something like, I mean, you can also be in awe of a place, Lindsay, like, well, Mm. I mean, you can say, oh, I was in awe of Japan when I visited in 2016, which I was. Oh, my gosh. Um, So I think. mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, Michelle. No, I was going to say, it makes me think of that scene in Lost in Translation, Bill Murray, yeah. when he gets driven through Shibuya in Tokyo and he's in the taxi and he wakes up and there's this really cool music playing. I don't know why, but I like the music that's playing. He's looking up at these huge buildings and he's just in total awe. He's like, where am I? This is another mm. planet, even compared to Times Square or anything in the U.S. It's completely different, right? He's in awe. Yes, I was in awe when I was walking around Japan. I was, I mean, literally like jaw dropped. I remember with you yeah. know Dan, we would just be like, oh, just constantly. So <laughs> I, I loved it. So you can use this to talk about your travels, about a place. Um, so, I mean, but Lindsay, is it formal or informal? What do you think? Mm, I think... It's neither. I think it's both. I think it's both. I think it could be used in a very yeah. formal, you know, bar- backyard barbecue with native speaking friends. You could use it. I'm in awe of your cooking. It's just amazing. Right. 
Or yeah. it could be in a more formal situation with your colleagues. Oh, I was in awe of your style of presentation there. You did a great job. It's just that you're really emphasizing mm-hmm. something. You're really elevating that thing. So you're not going to say it casually in, in the sense of just throwing it around six times in a conversation. Otherwise, mm-hmm. it will lose its meaning. Right, Michelle? Right, right, right. You can't say it for everything. I mean, could yeah, you ever you hear it like almost in a negative way? Like, like for example, I just want to, I wrote a little role play. I want to hear your thoughts. So okay. like if you're being, sh- if you're shocked about something. So here we okay. go. Uh, she still didn't show up. No, she didn't. I'm in awe. What do you I, think? Yeah, yes, you no? can, mm-hmm, yeah, you can use that for sure. Because again, it's not just that something is good, right? This awe to be in awe, it does it, usually it's good because it's yeah. magical to you, but it could also mean that it's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And that's what you're saying there. It's unbelievable that she didn't show up, right? right so yeah, I, right, I do right. think that works. And I think that's a very native way to use it. Right, right. So not always for good things. Let's yeah. do just a couple other a couple other role plays. So uh, here's the next one. Lindsay, you want to okay. start it off? Oh, my goodness. Do you hear this singer? Yeah, she's amazing. I am in awe of her talent. <laughs> okay. That's kind yeah. of <laughs> how I feel about like, um, well, Whitney Houston, you know, she had a voice that made you feel in awe of and maybe Adele. I feel like Adele kind oh, of Adele brings that great. up for me a little bit. Yeah. Incredible. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Or here is another thing that could be maybe for the business world. So thank you so much for everything you've done to help the team. Oh, it's nothing. No, really. I'm in awe of your commitment. Yeah. So when someone else is downplaying what they've done, this would be a way to give them an extra special thank you. Maybe it's Mm -hmm. your last day at the office and you want to let them know how how great they are. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm in awe of everything that we've done together or how you've helped me. Okay, so that's a good way to elevate what you're trying to say. Right, right, right. Exactly. Exactly. So, Lindsay, what are some other ways that you can express this same feeling? Well, the word amazed. And so saying something like I'm amazed and a guy, guys, be careful, not amazing. Right. This is where we get into the I N G and the E D. And we've done this. uh, (laughs) We've done this in other episodes, but I'm amazed by something by this is tricky because we have a key preposition. I'm amazed Mm -hmm. by this. I'm amazed by her hard work. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Or another one is to be humbled. Right. Ah. Um, so to be humbled by it, it also like it gives you this feeling of like, I'm I don't know. Yeah. What, how would you put it? Like, I. I yeah. Like, I'm humbled by the healthcare <laughs> workers. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I realize that they are doing something that is beyond something that I would be able to do, you know? Exactly. I think we should do another episode if we haven't done it before, Michelle, on humbled versus humbling right? It's humbling. Mm. I'm humbled by. Yeah. Mm. This idea of humbled guys, wait, you know, hit follow to make sure you don't miss that episode coming up in the future at some point. (laughs) But I think it's like you feel small, but not in a bad way. You just feel small because you know, this other person has, is just so amazing. Right. 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 Like I'm humbled by everything you do for your students. Yeah, exactly. I love that. And then the next one, I love it too. This is great. (laughs) I'm awestruck. And this is almost even bigger than I'm in awe of. Awestruck. All right. I'm awestruck by the band. And the preposition, guys, is by again, too. Right. So that's the key. I'm awestruck by the band's new album. Do you use this one, Michelle, yourself? Uh, good question. I guess I don't Mm -hmm. use it very often. I would, though, um, for something (laughs) really extreme. What about you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if I needed that word, if I needed to go even more extreme than in awe of, um, I would use it. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. And so why do you think some things, Michelle, make us feel that feeling of awe? Why? I think that, you know, it depends. I think uh, different people feel like they are in awe of different things, right? It depends what you find impressive, you know, um, and that's different for everybody. Um, yeah. And there are certain things that are kind of a little bit more universal. But then, you know, like I may not be in awe of like um, someone's like 
I don't know, something with sports, right? Like maybe I don't understand uh, yeah. it or I don't know, you know, if, if it's not like that familiar to me, but if it's like uh, someone singing or, you know, something that I um, am more like in tune, uh, uh, like attuned to maybe, um, uh. then maybe that would be something different. I'm in awe definitely of different places, of foods. <laughs> so yeah. that kind of a thing. Yeah. I mean, I think this is such a key connection episode because guys, we know that you want to be yourself in another in English. And we all have those moments. It's almost like a moment of enlightenment, right? Where you mm-hmm. see a mountain like this weekend, I was down in Southern Colorado and I saw, mm-hmm. you know, the mountains with the sunset and the snow on them. And I was just in awe. Mm-hmm. And if I can come back to you, Michelle, on a Tuesday morning and explain that to you, we can connect mm-hmm. on another level. So our connection can go beyond just intellectual, right? We can connect as people. And that's what we want you guys to do. So use these expressions, right? Absolutely. And guys, you know what? I can be in awe of sports <laughs> of sports stars too. I just may not like know the technicalities <laughs> and the technicalities and things like that. But I can I am, you know what, in some ways, now that I think about it, maybe I am more in awe of like, you know, things like, I wonder if you're more in awe of things that you consider yourself to have some expertise in, or if you're more in awe of things that you don't know as much about because mm, you're that's interesting. Y- yeah. yeah. So I guess, I guess it's kind of a little bit of both. Well, it's kind of interesting. Cause I feel like it's like, it's a way in a way, it's almost like you need to know a little bit about the sport so that you yeah. understand how hard that thing was, right? Like a 150 mile an hour serve. I actually don't know if anyone's ever served that hard. I, the hardest I've ever seen is like 134, 135. But if I know what an average person serves, I can understand how, how crazy 150 mile an hour serve is. Right. Right. Um, Right. Mm-hmm. Or I was I, actually, I just watched, I think I told you about Jonathan Van Ness has a new show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. And last night I watched, he did one about figure skating and I'm always oh, in awe cool. of figure skating, but he like kind of like went into how it's scored and some of the moves and like really went more in depth. And so like I had a new appreciation for it, it because I'm always watching and I'm always in awe of it. But now I'm even more like, wow. <laughs> yeah. We know we, we learn a little bit and then we start to understand how hard these sports actually are and what an amazing feat it is to like you know win the gold medal or just win something or serve at 150 miles an hour or something like that yeah it's true so the more we know the more in awe we are and i think it's a really as a human (laughs) being it's a really cool place to be just in awe of different things in the world right it's kind of a very peaceful place to be in our hearts so right and it's, it's this feeling of not being like jaded, you know, not just being like, yes. oh, yeah, everything. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. There's a certain childlike innocence to it. Yeah. Because kids yes. are kind of in awe of everything like, oh, my gosh, how did you do that? How did you know? So it's kind of cool. So we'll just stop there. Yeah. But we'll leave it on that note. This is kind of a deep episode and it's a connection yes. episode for you guys. Good stuff. Absolutely. Well, this was fun. Thanks to our listener for that question. And we will talk to you soon. Okay, Michelle. Talk soon. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks for listening to All Ears English. Would you like to know your English level? Take our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash fluency score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time.